Hey there, good morning, good evening, good whatever time you're watching this at, welcome to yet another Pipe Dream speed run. In this episode, we're going to create a workflow that's going to connect a YouTube channel to Slack. You guys probably know the drill by now, but from your Pipe Dream dashboard, we're gonna create a brand new workflow. And the trigger of this workflow is going to be a specific YouTube channel, right? So let's look for the YouTube app and we're going to select new videos by username. And I'm gonna select, so let's see here, I already have an account authorized, um, but all it's gonna ask you is to authorize your YouTube account. So that'll be a few clicks. And then we're gonna update this timer, 15 minutes is kind of aggressive. Um, I prefer every couple hours, it's not like music is coming out all the time. And the username is the channel name. So I myself like a little bit of drum and bass, gets me going. And up here in the URL, you can see the username that is associated with this channel. I'm going to plug that in right here. I'm gonna say new music videos as the trigger. And we'll create that source. Now that Pipedream is connected to YouTube and it's asking YouTube for new videos on that channel, we can test our workflow. So here we can see that there's 10 new events that are coming in. And here is the latest one. I'm gonna select this one. And this is a brand new video that was added to the channel. And here's all the data associated with it. Lots of data. So the next step will be to connect Slack to this brand new video coming in to the workflow. I'm going to click this plus icon, which will create a brand new step in our workflow. And I'm gonna use the Slack app. And I'm gonna send a message to a public channel. We have to connect our Slack account just like we did with the YouTube account. I already have one connected. And then I made a brand new channel for this uh, video. I called it YouTube Tunes. I'm gonna select this channel. And now we can compose the text whenever a brand new video is uh, detected on this channel. And we can use this nifty search bar. Now, one thing I have noticed about YouTube is they don't really give you um, the URL of the video outright, but I have noticed it gives you the video ID. So with the video ID, we can then figure out what the URL is by clicking on a video. So this is, this is the corresponding video uh, in YouTube. And right here, this unique string of characters, this is the ID. So we're going to copy this format and we're going to place it inside of our text box here. So this will create the, this will recreate the URL to find this video. And we can do some more fun things like edit the icon of the bot. So let's do that. Let's add a little emoji. Um, what's a fun one? Drum with drumsticks. That's a, it makes like a little drum icon. It's, it's a perfect for, for music. And we'll set the bot username to, um, Let's make it fun. Let's make it the, the name of the channel. Do we get that in here? Hmm, do we? Aha, look at that. So we'll use the channel title to say that's the, the bot's name. Let's test it. Should just take a second here. Success. So if we go to our Slack, look at that. So it added the emoji, it added the title dynamically, and it added the URL to the music video. And that's it, we did it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any more suggestions, we're happy to take them. I will build any workflow you request. You can check us out on Slack, on Twitter, and of course on our community forum. Have a great day.